I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 6th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update, and I'm joined again by Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Um, another volatile week. Uh, muni yields on the long end of the week up about nine basis points. What kind of activity do you see in trading? Sure. Um, this week, muni's had a slight outperformance versus the treasuries, you said. Um, this week was the Fed's meeting. So this week with the, the Fed meeting and the lackluster calendar, we really felt like there was a pause in the marketplace felt that as if dealers were using it as an excuse to kind of recharge from the exhaustion that we're feeling and hearing from a lot of the desks around the street. Um, the, after the Fed meeting, their Thursday, we did see a pickup in bid wanted and customer purchasing activity, which kind of demonstrates the uh, the selling pressure that we're seeing out there. There were more outflows this week, so we're really seeing that that those kind of pressures come out. A new issue of supply for the week was, I think, just under $5 billion, which is you know well below the average uh, so far. What uh, what are you seeing on the, port, on the horizon? Uh, so first, I'll, I'll touch on last week for BAM as well. Last week sure. for BAM, we had $125 million of new issue par. Um, last week, it was just 11 transactions across eight states. Um, our top three transactions last week were all in the competitive space, which is something we don't see um, all that often. But uh, there was a $50 million Harris County MUD 165 deal that, uh, that Hilltop bought. And that's a, a nice size MUD in, in the state of Texas. We don't see anything um, in that size come uh, that regularly. So that was a great one for us to, to be a part of. And there was also a North Folk or North Polk CSD transaction in Iowa that was $18 million priced by RW Baird. And then Mesero purchased a, uh, a $15.5 million Stratford Connecticut deal. And that deal has a double A minus S&P rating. So that was another uh, great transaction for us to be a part of. Um, this upcoming week, we do see a, an, another uh, lower than average, below average deal, um, deal flow for the week. I think it's roughly six billion um, for the week, which is below historical averages. So we'll see how the market uh, translates that into activity, and we'll see what happens. And one of the things that's interesting is the uh, the bond buyer has a an indicator of visible supply transactions that are listed on the market. That's actually near its fifty two week high at uh, fifteen point seven billion dollars, I think. But a lot of those transactions, as we've discussed in recent weeks, are on the day to day calendar um, transactions. They're uh, refunding transactions, waiting for savings targets to be hit. That uh, doesn't seem like they're going to be uh, in reach uh, in the near term. So we'll keep uh, in touch with the deal teams on those. Thanks for your time uh, this week, Chris. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.